welcome to the channel i'm charlie today i got mercedes s class basically e class and the s class similar engine i think this engine look like to me 2.9 i'll double check yeah 2.9 diesel s class this is the 2019 model basically this car came from bit far enfield might be three hours journey however he need to do the assessment first what's going on and what's happened first of all i notice when i see here little bit uh, you can see the inside slightly crystallizing around the at blue injector basically because this is not a from inside this is from outer line however that's a one thing i notice and another thing i already jack up the car and i went underneath and the check how is the at blue tank area you can fill up at blue from here yeah then the tank right underneath here i can't see any leaking and i check the all way from tank to front i couldn't find anything right i'm going to start the car and show you what's going on there you can see only engine management light on and uh, we'll see how about the meter reading for that blue yeah at the moment zero message for that blue only 3000 kilometers right yeah we'll see what's the computer going to say to us right i got the all faulty cords basically there is a drive train three faulty cords exhaust flap sticking to commanded position cannot be reached yeah there is a three faulty cord for the exhaust flap okay we'll see there is a three faulty cord for the engine control right nox sensor range performance bank one sensor one nox sensor bank one cylinder bank one malfunction the flow rate of exhaust gas high pressure is too low because customer mentioned he done the egr but still there is a faulty code for the egr yeah because if it the egr problem occur then it's affected to the knock system easily that's why but at the moment there is a three faulty code i had to sort out right what i'm going to do i'm try to reset these faulty codes and have a look what's going on clear dtc yeah it's allowed to delete read again no any faulty codes i'm going to switch off and start the car at the moment no any warning light right i'm going to switch off ignition on and read any faulty code for this problem no not any faulty code right next step i'm going to top up the coolant sorry i'm going to top up the at blue then after that i'm going to motor away and have a look what's the figures for the egr what's the data for the egr 
and what's the data for the exhaust and the other sensors then after that i'll come back to you Right, we went to the nearly 19.8 miles, no any funny warning light at the dashboard, but I saw the NOx working fine, but NOx sensor one little bit uh, lower the limit, but however, we'll see any faulty code left here for the under engine management, read faulty codes, yeah, there is a two faulty code, that's right, see, this is the NOx sensor 1, mm -hmm. low range, yeah, we need to attend to this one and also there is another faulty code for the EGR, right, okay, I done the assessment, I am going to explain to the customer what's going and what happened here, then if customer sign up for the next step, I'll let you know what's going on here, thank you, see you in the next video.